Hey guys, you're watching Zubana Nanny, my name is AJ, and we are back on the third episode of Let's Build a Theme Park, and I'm so ecstatic that you guys are loving this series so much. The response I had from episode one and two were amazing, and they're only getting better. I thought you guys would be a little bit sceptical because it's a new world, and it looks very empty, and it looks very boring, and until we get some stuff really, really moving here, it's going to look like that for quite a while. But I'm so pleased that you guys could see past the big empty green spaces and see what it could potentially look like and that you've got a bit of trust in me and to be able to uh, pull it off and make it look really, really cool. So I've done a little bit of off-work camera, uh, off camera work, off camera work here. Uh, I've played around with some designs for the sort of pathways and I've gone for black and white. And this is black wool. This is our normal grey wool that we use on the city world for roads and paths and stuff like that and uh, white wool. But the black wool I went for, because it's darker, it stands out more, we'll be able to really see the pass really, really well. This is going to be a fountain, hopefully. I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit of a fountain in the middle. We've got some benches on either side here. And I tell you what, that has really bought out that roller coaster. It's really made it pop. I've also surrounded the roller coaster or put carpet and wool underneath the roller coaster, made it concrete, which has really, really helped. Also, I wish I'd done that back on episode one and episode two, because Hopefully I haven't lost the attention of some of you guys uh, already. This series should stay popular. I'm hoping it stays popular. Uh, but you guys have come up with really cool ideas as well for the uh, log flume. About using soul sand. Apparently soul sand won't break a boat. So we need to do some testing on that and give that a go when we come to the log flume. And also putting uh, source blocks of water either side should keep the boat in the middle. So I'm sure we can make a really, really cool one. Uh, we're going to make the gates out of, or, or the big stone walls, whatever you want to call them, out of sandstone because we can put a lot of detail in, into it. We're not going to do it that episode. And here I was just working on a car park. The car park will probably end up spanning the whole width of the whole map. And then we'll have the road there, but that's going to take ages to do, so I'll probably be leaving that for a long time. Maybe I can get a couple of subscribers to come in <laughs> just to do the car park for me and uh, save me doing it. If you, if you fancy doing that, if you fancy doing a really boring job, uh, then tell me in the comment section below. Uh, <laughs> but believe me, it'll be extremely boring. This episode, though, we're going to work on a burger hut. And I want the burger hut to actually be in the shape of a burger because it would just look amazing, <laughs> wouldn't it? I want a burger hut in the shape of a of a giant burger. So we need a splashy potion to start off with. We need a round base is what we need first. And I think I want to put it on this left-hand side of the main circle. This is going to be the main gates where you come in and then uh, we'll have a burger bar here, maybe an ice cream one there, roller coaster there and then it'll go into the rest of the theme park. Amazing. I almost want to go to this theme park. <laughs> How cool would it be? Even if it even looked uh, all Minecrafty, it would look amazing, wouldn't it? Five blocks in the middle. That's six blocks. Okay, so we need to add one more. It's going to be quite a, a big building because it needs to fit some people in, you know, it's it's not going to be like a full, whoops, a full restaurant, um, but it's going to be like a little burger shack, almost, uh, so we need enough room there, oh no, what have I done here, I completely messed that up, uh, we need to have enough room for, like, kitchens in there, and stock, and everything like that, plus we want the burger to be nice and big, so it looks awesome when it's fully completed, there, get out of the way, cow, otherwise you will end up in this burger, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should put some cows in here. That could be quite funny. Actually having cows in here. I swear I've done this wrong, haven't I? Oh no. Have I done this wrong? Something's gone wrong somewhere. Yeah, I've gone too many blocks here. Why can't I just do things right first time? Why does it have to always be second time? There. Perfect. Okay, so there's the bottom of the bun base. Uh, <laughs> and we need to go up another level here to get the bottom of the bun thicker. It's going to be like... um. A Big Mac sort of looking thing, I suppose. I don't eat Big Macs because I don't like cheese. I know it sounds really weird, but I don't like cheese. So uh, I can't really have Big Macs. I go with, when I go to McDonald's, I go with the Chicken Legend. I really, really like the Chicken Legend. So uh, I would recommend that to anyone. Anyway, I've got a picture of a burger here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a, a Big Mac or what. Okay, so we're going to have... Ugh, Sorry about the headset noise. We're going to have a burger at the bottom. So we're going to go with brown Wilson. So that's going to be the best burgery looking texture. We're going to have the doors here. I'll tell you what, wooden doors are going to blend in really well as well, aren't they? <laughs> they look great. Okay, so then the burger is going to be one wider. 
than the bun. Whoops. you got to have a good burger-to-bun ratio. Isn't it frustrating when you buy a burger and the bun, like, is so much bigger than the burger? It's so disappointing, isn't it? you got to have more burger than bun, definitely. <laughs> what am I talking about? Talking about burgers while playing Minecraft. Unbelievable. Right, so we've got the burger bun in here now. We can take that away. That needs that up then. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so the burger's in. And then above the burger, we're going to have some egg. And we're going to use quartz, I think, for egg. And we're just going to poke it out in bits a little bit wider here and there. I've never done this before. I've never built a giant burger in Minecraft. So, my apologies if it's not quite what you had in mind. <laughs> I really, really don't know how to take this episode. <laughs> Hopefully at the end it looks remotely like a burger. Um, but, but here's hoping. You never know, it might turn out looking like a complete waste of space. I'm just doing a sort of random lines, really, trying to not leave any gaps in it. But given the, the burger bar a bit of a three-dimensional feel to it. Very random. We don't want it to look all organised, because burgers aren't organised, are they? There. And then we'll come out. Let's go in for that bit. Okay, that doesn't actually look that bad. Okay, so tomatoes are next. I'm going to use some red wool. I'm going to layer it up. You guys should try this on your own worlds. It would be amazing. <laughs> we should all just build burger houses and then um, go on to Twitter or something and trade burger. Maybe we should start a Twitter page. Burger houses in Minecraft. And uh, we just vote each week on who has the best burger house. <laughs> I'm sure everybody has better things to do than that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, we're going to go around here. It's hard to sort of vision it looking what it's going to look like at the end. I don't really want to go any wider than that, you know. I think we're going to keep it in. We don't want the tomatoes and stuff to be falling out of the edge, do we? That would be catastrophic. Like this. Let's go into the same. Let's leave a little bit more egg than tomato here. <laughs> It's, for any new subscribers, I promise I'm not this wacky. I, I promise that we are actually quite a sensible channel. Um, that's a lie, isn't it? That's such a lie. Ah, it's really starting to get there. I'm starting to see the potential. Okay, so lettuce. And for lettuce, we're going to use some leaves. So we're going to go around another level up here with some leaves. <laughs> it actually looks good. I, I think, anyway, I think it looks good. You guys are the best judges. You guys are always honest with me, which I really appreciate. Uh, oh, yeah, what about if we drip some lettuce over the side and stuff like that? It's good. If you don't like tomato, then maybe you can envision this as tomato sauce. Hey? Because even if you don't like tomatoes, you like tomato sauce, don't you? I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but tomato sauce with a bacon sarni. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That's good. That's something you never see. You never see a bacon... Do you have, have you guys ever seen a bacon stall at a theme park? Maybe we should have a bacon stall at a theme park. At our theme park here. Excellent. Okay, so we've got the um, lettuce in the top there. <laughs> now, we could, if we wanted to, we could add some cheese. But I think we're going to add that afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the top bun on. Which we need to somehow try and get the same shape as the um, burger below. Like this. Yeah, and then we'll drip some cheese down over the side. And we'll drip some um, lettuce over the side as well. Oh, it's making me hungry. Okay, so let me get this bun down and I should be back. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd come back before I completely finished the bun off. In case you guys uh, are planning to build this at home as well. So all I'm doing is really doing uh, circles above each layer. One block smaller than the next. And that's, that's about as easy as it gets. A uh, very easy way to sort of get a sort of bun looking shape. Uh, soon we're going to have to start curving it off. Otherwise you end up with a pointy burger. And no one likes a pointy burger either. <laughs> the stuff, the some of the stuff that we've been saying this episode has never been said before ever on, on YouTube or nothing. So uh, I think now 
we're going to just put a top on, a nice flat top uh, on the top here. If we can somehow get some sesame seed looking things, maybe if we use pressure plates. Do you think pressure plates will look like sesame seeds? Or do you think we should actually put yellow wool in? I think yellow wool will be a bit too big. Buttons we can put on the sides, but we can't put them on the top, so there's no point doing it that way. Maybe we can have a look through the um, inventory list and uh, let's see what we like. Let's just see if this is an actual good bun shape before we start worrying about the sesame seeds. Oh yeah, I like it. It's perfect. Yeah, like there's gaps there. We'll have to fill those in in a moment. Okay, what have we got? We've got mushrooms. They could sort of look like sesame seeds, maybe. Maybe. Uh, pressure plates as well. Let's have a look and see what pressure plates looks like. Let's clear our inventory. I don't think levers or tripwire hook will look any good. But we've got pressure plates. We've got the possibility of mushrooms, which could actually work, you know. They can't be placed. They can't be placed. Nothing else can really be placed on the floor. Okay, so mushrooms. Oh, we can't place mushrooms on the on the, on the wool. So I think it's going to have to be the pressure plates. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I can go with this. Looks like little sesame seeds on the top. Sesame seed bagel. There we go. Perfect. Just randomly place them down. There we go. Absolutely perfect. It's actually making me super hungry, though. That's the only trouble with doing things that remotely look like food. <laughs> okay, let's sleep away the night. Now we're going to have to get our leaves back. We're going to have to get some yellow for some cheese. Maybe, possibly even use some yellow carpet for, like, thinner cheese parts. Um, but let's put let's fill any gaps in that we've got. I think there's another gap around here. There is, yeah. Any more gaps? Nope, no more gaps. So, let's put some thin layers of cheese on in parts on top of here. Like so. Ha 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 ha. Cheese. <laughs> this is the best burger ever made in Minecraft. It has to be. There. Perfect. And then we'll add li little bits of cheese dripping down the side. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Like this. Have some cheese in here between the egg. Some uh, some cheese dripping down from here. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's a complete waste of an episode. <laughs> But it's great. It's great fun. And then we'll have one more bit of cheese like this, I think. Drip that down. And one more there. Wonderful. Wonderful. It looks crazy, doesn't it? Look at that for a burger bar. It's proper theme park like. That's the thing. As soon as I finished episode two of this, I actually went back onto a really old game. And some of you might have heard of it. Some of you might have not heard never of it before uh, but it's called theme park and it was made in 1994 which is probably before some of you guys were even born uh, 1994 it was made by a company called bullfrog and was originally on the pc although i had it on a console or computer that was called the amiga a very very old computer if you've heard um, i think it was one of my q and a's uh, i talked about the amiga in that and then they bought it out uh, I think it was a couple of years ago on the Nintendo DS and uh, I got it on the DS. I thought why not? We'll get it on the DS. It'll bring back some memories and by doing only two episodes of this series it has made me get my DS, find my DS and play on it. Which is actually really useful because it's going to have some rides, some cool rides and stuff like that um, that look like this. You know, That's where I got the burger. Uh, restaurant idea from uh, was because that there is that actually a burger bar in that game. It's like proper retro graphics, you know, uh, almost pixelated graphics. Uh, but one, the uh, burger shop was a burger, and the fry shops were giant like McDonald's fries looking thing. And uh, we've got to do it. We, it has it just has to be done. Okay, guys, wait. Whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> Originally, all I done was once we finished that. I then built this fountain very, very quickly. That didn't take two minutes. And uh, ended off the episode there because I thought we were out of time. But then when reviewing the episode, uh, we actually have quite a fair bit of time left. So hopefully we can actually finish off the inside as well. Um, let's go with oak on the inside because it's the sort of closest match to orange. 
Ah, oh, this looks so cool from inside here, doesn't it? Actually, lets a little bit of light through. If you can imagine those were little tiny windows in the lettuce, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Actually, quite roomy in here as well. We're going to make this into a little restaurant. I had a thought. We're going to have a little tiny restaurant in there with some seats. We'll have some seats on the outside as well, on this little part here, on this little corner. And then the, um, well... I'm going to keep that a secret for the next ones, for the next episodes and stuff like that. But yeah, let me fill this floor in, because it's going to take ages to do otherwise. And then uh, we shall be right back. Okay, so just filling in the last bit. I really don't want to harm this cow, because I think it would be amazing if we had that cow behind the counter. <laughs> don't you think? If we had the cow behind the counter, oh, it would be brilliant. As far as lighting goes, I think if we have like little hanging glowstones, it would be really, really cool. I think it would be a nice touch. So let's have... Half of it blocked off, because I need half of it kitchen, don't we? So if you block half of this off, let's go with spruce counter. Let's go with a spruce counter. We'll have it from there. Oh, no, not on that level. On this level here. All the way across. Can we put carpet on top of that? On top of an upside down slab? We can. Oh, that has to be done in yellow, though. So we'll have a yellow carpet. All the way along. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> I love it. Let's get some stairs, though, on the edge. I think that cow can still jump over. He can. No, stay on that side. You own this burger shop. It's yours. It's your baby. You just have to um, make sure you're pulling in enough money so you can cover the rent. Okay, we're going to have to do this lighting because it's getting on my nerves. We'll use fence to see so it's quite an orange color. And then we'll use uh, some glowstone here. And uh, we'll just drag them down at different heights, I think, is how I think I want to do it. Have some different heights. So we'll have... Uh, I think that's too low. Has to be at least there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll actually look okay, I think. Uh, one there. Is that the same height? That is the same height. We need to do one at a different height. Uh -huh. These down fence posts. I'll have one there. Wonderful. We'll have a tall one up here. Light up that bit of roof. Have one there. And I think this is going to give just enough light. We don't want it hugely bright in here. We want it a bit atmospheric. Whoops. There we go. How's that looking? That looks pretty cool. That's actually added enough light in here. You! Is he asking me what I would like to eat? What can I get you, sir? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> Let's do some cool design up here. Maybe like, um, uh, sh mm, I don't know how to sort of neaten up this interior. It's really hard. I want to keep all the, the colours. I think they look really cool. Um, let's go with, if we put this along the front and it'll make it more into a sort of counter like this. And then if we put this down and then we just need to get the cow in here. Come on, cow. Push you through. And now Cow can't get out of there, can he? I'm pretty sure Cow can no longer escape. Let's get some trap doors. Trap doors, trap doors, trap doors. Here. We'll put these trap doors along here. Uh, stuff in the way. I'm not going to put trap doors around the glowstone. I think I sort of like the look of the glowstone. Um, being all naked like that without any coverings on it. I sort of like it. Okay, so we've got that in there. Um, it looks very, very low, doesn't it? But, yeah, I suppose that's all you would have at the counter, wouldn't you? That is about it, really. Um, we need some sort of till. Let's get a till. Hop over this side. Have a till in there. Very, very big till. Let's have a couple of tills in there. It's going to be a busy place. And then we need the cooker's at the back here. Yeah, what I want to do, I don't know if I'm going to keep that bit in or cut it out, uh, but I was saying when I was building the fountain, I think it was, oh, sorry, cow, I didn't mean to, that um, I want to have the interiors of every single building uh, on this whole world. Like, in the Let's Build a City world, we sort of um, don't bother doing the interiors too much, purely because they just take so long to do on a massive house. But I really want to put the effort in on this series for interiors and do some practice. Because I don't really do interiors that often, so I'm not really that great at them. Um, so maybe we'll use this series as a, a bit of a practice. And uh, hopefully it'll come off well. Hopefully. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to put some 
More tables down. Oh, that's a funky little turn. I really like that. How did I do that? I thought I liked that, didn't I? Oh, very funky little turn. Um, let's have it like that. And like that. And then do the same here. Put some tables down so they can actually work. Or, or you know, serve the food up. Have those along there. Upside down one there. Excellent. Should we make all of these yellow counters as well? I think so. Whoops. Floating carpet. Floating carpet. It's a floating carpet. I wish I had someone that could remix stuff that I say. It would be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, there we go. Oh, that's looking cool. It's like the melted cheese all over again. Um, I would have some way to get in, but I don't think we really need a way to get in. That looks good, though. I like that. I don't think we'd need anything more in a burger shop apart from cookers and grills. Maybe we could put the um, detector valves on the top like I like to do. As the grills here. We're going to have to do that so I can get those grills. Ah, can I put them on the edge of this carpet? I might be able to. I can. Aha, magic. Excellent. So, that's the um, till side. And then on this side, let's, let's stay with the... Um, Spruce, shall we? Let's stay with the spruce. Or maybe use some red sofas. Oh, that could be good. If we use red and quartz slabs. Uh, it's so hard to do in a rounded room. To do seating in a rounded room, isn't it? Um, uh, If we do it like that. And then we have the table. Whoops. If we have the table in here. Let's get a pressure plate. Let's use stone pressure plates, I think. In here, and then have a ah, so tight. Uh, let's do it like that. Um, what if we move it all over? Um, like this. Boop, 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 boop. It's just so tight in here. There we go. That looks okay. Oh, maybe we could do another one this side as well. That would actually fill up the place really well. I think. So there's one. And then there's another sitting area with a table. And then we'll do the rest of the chairs and tables on the outside. Then you can just eat inside if it's raining or something, maybe. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's sleep away this night time. And we've got all the stuff we need for the outside chairs. Oh, apart from, let's use grey wool. I know we're using black for the paths. So let's use grey wool. A seating area, so we might need to chop it down though. Oh, and we also want fencing. Let's um, let's get some logs, right? And we'll put the logs in this way, like this, and then we can put fences on top of it, and it'll sort of break it up really well, like so. Oh, let's leave that one grass, and then we can put like a bush in there or something like that. How far back do we want to go? How big do we want the uh, burger seating area to be? Uh, I think that's good. And if we sort of round it off slowly this way. Whoops. Yeah, that looks good. Like that. And we'll put a fence. Whoops. Oh, should we do a fence or iron bars? I think iron bars would look cool around this outside here. Iron bars. Yeah, they sort of like like sort of the sort of things that you'd have at roller coasters, don't they? A uh, theme park. So we'll have this going down here. Excellent. We need a way in, so let's make this the way in, and put down. We're gonna have to use full blocks because we're gonna put tables and chairs down. So we're going to have to change all of this out for actual blocks instead of using the carpet. Okay. Um, and then there I wanted a little tiny miniature plant. Just because we can. Uh, oh, I'm getting all confused. I pressed the buttons too many times. Okay. So plant's going to be here. Nice. Ah, we can't put the damn trap doors down. Hmm. Oh, well, if we do that. Perfect. That looks good to me. We'll keep that. What about one high? Nope, too high. Okay, let me replace this with um, 
they will, and I shall be back. All right, how about this? I cut out um, placing down the chairs. You don't need to see me place down chairs. I'm sure you can do that yourself. Uh, but we are going to put on the final pressure plates, and then we can back off and see what it looks like, see if we've done the, a good job or not. There we go. There we go. I actually like these iron bars. They do look good in this texture pack, I think. It'd be nice if we had more things like iron bars and fences, you know, more things of that nature. We've got stone walls, but it'd be nice if we had, like, more things, you know, colourful things and all that. How about that? That looks okay. <laughs> I love it. It looks amazing. Okay, we are going to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>